So he swings, we hit, step under. This was our, our technique, right? I want to point out one final thing on this that you learned. When you resist, you actually apply the lock on yourself, right? If I'm starting to pull down and he's nervous and he starts pulling back, once we get into a, a, a if, if we start reaching that, sort of that termination point where we're applying the lock, where we're about to fully apply the lock, any resistance actually helps feed into the lock. And this is a, a critical element, by the way, of joint lock escapes. Once the lock is applied, you're, you're somewhat done for. You need to escape before the lock is applied. That's the strategy. Now, if I'm starting to lock his arm and he starts resisting, if we're at this angle, well, no, I'm going to move into something else. Hey, look, now I have another armbar. Uh, but I'm going to change the angle. I'm going to use the energy he's giving me. But like I said, if I'm, if I'm already sort of at this point where his arm's straight, I haven't necessarily started fully applying pressure or I'm at the point where I'm about to fully apply pressure and he starts resisting, he's going to find himself, uh, basically, he's hurting himself.